and welcome to this week's edition of You News, where you get You News. Starting this week off just fine. News broke Monday morning that Kim Kardashian was ordered by the SEC to pay $1.26 million, including a $260,000 disgorgement fee for failing to disclose to her followers how much she had been paid to promote a cryptocurrency. When they said disgorgement, I thought that they meant she'd have to suck the engorged filler out of her butt, but apparently it means to pay back the ill-gotten gains or the money she received for the post. The currency promoted in question was Ethereum Max, which was a huge pump and dump promoted by many celebrities. She must do so many product endorsements naked because if you buy what she gets paid to shill, you eventually won't be able to afford clothes. Seriously, Kim K's Instagram of ass photos is so far removed from financial advice, it makes Jim Cramer look like f***ing Nostradamus. So listen up, if you're gonna buy based on recommendations from idiots with money, here's the move. When Elon is tweeting, buy, it's gonna pump. When Kim K is posting about it, sell, it's gonna dump. I would take crypto recommendations from her ex-husband Kanye West though. At least he shows alpha degenerate tendencies. I'm sorry, you know, I'm not gonna argue with people that are broker than me about money. I also feel like I missed an opportunity for a pump and dump joke about Kim Kardashian here, but haven't people been making that joke about her long enough? Next up, do you love The Simpsons and QAnon's favorite crypto? XRP fans are absolutely freaking out at a recent clip in The Simpsons where Bart writes on a chalkboard, the price of XRP is to hit $589 by end of year. Normally I'd write this off as a silly cartoon as well, but The Simpsons have an alarmingly accurate track record of predicting the future. For instance, the cartoon image of Donald Trump coming down the escalator after winning the 2016 presidential election, or when they showed the US beating Sweden and curling in the Olympics, and even correctly predicting a Nobel Prize winner. Look, I'm not a QAnon person and I'm not the world's biggest fan of Ripple, but if you've got a free hundred bucks laying around and you're not doing anything with it, I might buy some Ripple. Do you think you're a better trader than a bot? This next story might make you feel better. An MEV bot took advantage of an arbitrage opportunity and earned $1 million in a single transaction last week, only to be hacked an hour later and lose it all. One of us, one of us. The irony is that the bot had been named in Leet OX Bad Code. Well, just tell the whole world about your skills, why don't you? Honestly, naming a bot with vulnerabilities bad code is like Biden acknowledging Dementia Awareness Month. Like, aren't you just asking to be fucked with at that point? In the ongoing Twitter trial versus Elon Musk, phone records were released that unveiled Elon had a plan to eliminate Twitter bots by charging 0.1 doge per tweet, later deemed not feasible. Other texts Elon has sent have also come to light, including him saying, I kinda don't think I should be in charge of anyone. Seriously, using Doge to tweet, was this in an effort to help Doge establish some utility beyond its scam dumpster fire blockchain? Like 200 coins launched in a week on the Doge blockchain and 99% of them were rugs. Doge's blockchain makes the Binance Smart Chain look like an episode of Full House. After reading through more of the texts where people mainly praise Elon for attempting to buy and clean up the birdie platform, one revelation I think we can all agree on from Elon's text is that Twitter Blue is, quote, an insane piece of shit, end quote. That's all for this. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Last week, Apple announced that they would finally allow in-app purchasing of NFTs, which was great news, only to go full on Hurricane Ian and Ford Myers by saying that the non-fungible tokens would only be purchasable with US dollar and that Apple was going to take a 30% commission on every sale. That's right, 30. But what's new, right? They've been pillaging money off the masses who are just using an open source Linux for ages. So this expansion into charging an outrageous amount of money for someone else's hard work is just typical. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get totally unnecessary, useless news. I'm Tupac's of course, and I'll see you next week.